guys, Stina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode from the Wells Knight Patreon server. Today we are going to be working here in the base, uh, just hanging out here underneath of the Space Needle, enjoying the custom trees, but this is not where we're going to be staying today. No, 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 we are actually going to be going out um, past the project that I still need to finish. Yes, the mall, it still needs to be done. But we're going to come out to a project that Graceful... Um, has been working on. For those of you who don't know, Graceful is my base partner here on the Wells Knight server. Um, she's the one that's been building all of the big farms and I've been hiding them. But we're going to be working over here on a, a big project that she started. She's been doing it on stream over on Twitch. And uh, yeah, she's making this really huge pier. Um, and it's going to be really cool. But she's given me the... Uh, well, the privilege, actually, of building out here something that I've been wanting to build for quite a while, actually. Um, so my plan... Oh, that's a weird glitch. Uh, space Needle, render in. <laughs> that is a very interesting visual glitch. Yep. Okay, anyway. Uh, my plan for this... I've always wanted to build in this uh, base on this season a Ferris wheel. Now Graceful has all kinds of plans for this area. This is going to be kind of like a an amusement park on the pier. It's going to be really cool. And uh, she's a, she has allowed me, is suggesting that I build the Ferris wheel out here. So what I've done is I've just taken a little bit of time to lay out where I want the Ferris wheel to go. And these are going to be the supports that hold the main the main part of the Ferris wheel together. I thought we would uh, just come on here and, and start working on this. So these are all going to, basically, it's going to come and it's gonna connect up. Um, just like this, we'll go to, like that, you know, so it's, it's a really simple way of coming up here. And we're going to do it on that other side as well. Um, and by using the slabs on the top, not only does it make it look like it's better connected, but it's going to make it so that um, so that nothing can spawn on top of this, which is going to be pretty important. Now we're getting close to the center. I think I'm going to go up one more and then um, run out of slabs. <laughs> okay, this is going to use a lot of quartz. Uh, boy, yeah, this is going to use a lot of quartz, probably more than Graceful wants me to use. But, you know, part part of this is having what we need. Is this the center? I kind of feel like this might be the center. I'm going to I'm going to guess that this is the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here cap it off, and then we'll go down and do the other side. So yeah, that gives you an idea of where that was, that is going to be where the, the center of the wheel goes. So you can see that this is going to be quite a large, a large project. Um, come over here and we're going to do the same thing. I, I've never built a Ferris wheel before, and so this has me super excited. One thing that I really loved in Season 2 when I first joined the Wells Knight server was the Ferris wheel in the gaming district. Um, I don't remember who did that Ferris wheel. I think it was Ducky, but I could be mistaken there. Um, but I loved that Ferris wheel, and I loved the idea of building a Ferris wheel, and I've just... I've never done it myself, and so t this is this is the season to do it, folks. Tis the season to build the Ferris wheel. Kind of feel like we need a fa la 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 la. All right, that is the center. So let's come down here. Whoosh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's looking good so far. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to build up the other side and then I'll be back with you. 
Okay, so we have gotten the the uprights there. I did go and put the center uh, shaft in, so this is going to be where that the um, yeah the wheels hook on. And I did put a little bit of lighting up there uh, in the form of end rods just to make sure that we don't have anything spawning. I don't want creepers and stuff blowing this up. So, you know, building the lighting into it is going to be important. And I think that having it there on that central drive is, yeah, I think that makes sense. The next thing that we need to do now is figure out where this wheel is going to go. Um, I think I had I think I know which what level it's supposed to be on so the car is going to come down to here and it's going to be so that you can jump up it's one block up um, so thinking about how tall the car needs to be I think that I need to build up three two three and then start the wheel now we've got a whole bunch of different colors of concrete the wheel itself is going to be in light blue. Um, it's going to be light blue with different colored spokes. So we come out here. The first band is going to be it's going to be five. It's always an exciting adventure trying to get a circle started the first time um, because I very much could ruin this and not get the proportions right. So I'm going to just do the best I can. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be the right proportions for the wheel. Let me get these, let me get the rest of this wheel in. And there's going to be a second, obviously, a second part of the wheel um, along this line that's going to mirror. So let's get that in. Okay, both circles are in. I think that's looking really good. Uh, right now though, the circles are kind of just floating there. So let's get in the um, the supports that run from the, the central column down into the, yeah, where they cross. So let's get those in and then we'll see what's gonna happen next. Things are progressing here pretty well. Uh, I've got all of the bars in to support, all the support bar bars in for the wheels and uh, as you can see I did add some connectors with some end rods just to kind of give it a little bit more structure. I kind of like the way that looks. Kind of like the way that looks. Maybe um, that, that concrete might be a little bit dark. May change that out for a different color here at some point but for now I think that's good so we've got the wheel we've got the supports now the next thing we need to do is figure out what we're gonna do for the car so the cars are obviously gonna sit uh, right here in the center um, yeah right where, where that is so this is this should be the center right here. Now I'm just going to drop a block here so that I can get these cars started. My my thought here, so this should be the center, the center block. Yeah. Oops. So my thought here is these car bases are going to be, um, they're going to be big enough that I ran, run out of slabs again. <laughs> Of course. Why wouldn't they be big enough that I'd run out of slabs? Um, anyway, the cars themselves are gonna be nine, uh, three by three square, nine across. I think, I think I'm gonna make the cars purple and dark blue, which is why I have the purple and the dark blue here. And they're just gonna come around like this. Yeah, not too bad. Now I need to go, and, and the reason why is I want I want you to be able to get up inside of this bottom one. Like this is where the ride comes in, and uh, you just get it inside of the bottom one. So let me uh, go grab. I need to go grab some stair. Sorry, some fences. That's what I need to go grab. Some fences. Um, trying to think about what color fences that I want here. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, what color fences? Hmm, let's, let's go, let's go take a look at what colors we have. Jump off the edge of the pier, fly on past the Space Needle, and the Kelp Farm. Yeah, this is, the Kelp Farm is going to be a build that we need to work on here very soon. Down to our temporary storage room because I also need to work on the mall. Yeah, there's so much to do, so much to do. All right, let's let's take a look. I don't think jungle is going to be the right color. I think that spruce might be a little bit dark. Oak might be the way to go. Yeah, I think those are going to be too dark too. I don't necessarily want to do birch because I don't think birch and quartz are going to look good together. Yeah, let's... Let's grab some oak. Do I get any sticks laying around? I do. Alright. Let's grab some oak here. Let's make some fences. And let's hope that that is enough. Let's see. Put those sticks back. All right. Back over. Whoosh. <laughs> it's a bit of fun flying through stuff. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get trapdoors. Ah. Well, let's, um, let's start with this and we'll see how this goes. So what I'm thinking is we've got fences here. Yeah, I think that's a good color. And we'll come on up here. On top of these fences, we're going to do, oops. Yeah, that, that's not what we're going to do. Put those on there. <gasps> I messed up. Yep. I do have a shovel somewhere. I think it's in my ender chest. Alright, so we've got these fences with the slabs on top. Then I think what we're going to do for the next part uh, just to kind of give this a little bit of interest on the top is we're going to use stairs. Let me put the stairs in. Thank you. Stairs like this. Um, hmm. Mm hmm hmm. So maybe right here we put some kind of a light source because I don't want anything spawning inside of the of the um yeah, I don't want anything spawning inside of here. So and I fell down. Excellent. So let's go make some trapdoors. Uh, I'm gonna grab a light source and I'm gonna grab how we're going to connect um, this up to, to the structure. Let me do that. I'll be right back. All right, I think that, I think that works. So just a sea lantern, we've got some walls. I think the walls work to show that, hey, this is where it's connecting, uh, yeah. We want to make sure that that looks sturdy compared to the rest. I think that works. Oh, and the other thing that we need to do is put in the, um, yeah. Uh, let me in. So now, now this is, this is the view. Yes, it's very small. It's very compact, but I think that it works. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is make seven more of these. And this one was the easy one because this one was down low. The rest of these are kind of up and um, not in the easiest place to get to. So, whew, wish me luck. Let's see if we can get this done. All right. Upon further reflection, looking at the way that that mechanism look, looks and works, uh, that car would not actually be able to go through that gap. So that's a problem. Um, and I think the way that we're going to solve this problem is by changing the mechanism. So here, what I've done instead is I've made it look like it hooks on right to the wheel here at the lowest point instead of one higher. And that would allow it to turn and to fit into this gap. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I had done these other two cars. They're going to have to move slightly to reflect that change that I just made, but I think that'll be okay. Uh, the only difficulty right here is like for this one, um, it doesn't really match up now <laughs> with that other, that other spoke. So I, uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult because there's no, there's no odd spot for that to come out but I think we can make it work. But yeah, that, that's what's going on. Like I said, this, this wouldn't fit through that gap. There's like one block and that, that's not enough to make that turn. So ah, the joys of, of trying to figure this out as you go. I'm gonna change that up and fill in the rest of the cars. Okay, this is the validation that I was I was looking for. Uh, yeah, so this does actually clear this platform uh, where this connects. That is exactly what I was hoping for. This is the topmost car, and it does fit into this place where I wanted it to fit. So, whew, we did it right, guys. We did it right. Back to building, obviously. We're not done yet. So much still to do. With that. Okay, uh, the next thing that we need to do is just make sure that there's no spawnable spaces. Um, I don't want creepers falling on people as they come. So I just want to check those, make sure there's no spawnable spaces. And then we need to do something down here at the bottom uh, to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, kind of like a gar, you know, some kind of an area here where people know that that's where you go to get on the ferris wheel and stuff like that so yeah let me uh let me work on that but first spotable spaces gotta check okay guys i think i think we did it i i really i'm, I'm like on the edge of the block but oh we got a thunderstorm going on um but anyway guys i think we did it i think <laughs> oh wow the lightning behind that that's pretty cool i think that we finished the the ferris wheel i love the way that this looks the little fl fun floor p pattern that we did at the bottom i think that that's a lot of fun it's just so colorful and happy and bright um i did have to add a little bit of lighting in around the top and the bottom there just to keep we had like two spaces that were spawnable on the top and the bottom, but we fixed those. That whole area is spawn proof now. Um, and I'm super, super happy with this. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode today. I know it's a little bit shorter than some of my other episodes are. At least I'm assuming it is. I haven't done, gone back and done the editing yet. Uh, but I really enjoyed this project. I have so been looking forward to building a Ferris wheel and I do love the way that it turned out. Anyway, guys, make sure that you leave a like, a comment, and if you really enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. You guys are awesome and amazing, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.